What does the science really say about how well deer see? Can they actually see in slow motion? And if so, how should this affect our hunting strategy, the camo we buy, even how we move through the woods? Hi, I'm Adam Lewis, outdoor writer, educator, and host of the Deer IQ podcast, where smart hunting begins. And recently I talked to Dr. Carl Miller, former professor at the University of Georgia Deer Lab, about the nuances of deer vision and this topic came up. How would deer see in slow motion? So how does this really work? Let's dig into the science. Deer see much different than humans in many ways. And I'll just list a few here for a foundation. They see a horizon of about 300 degrees in equal focus. So they don't have to move their heads to see most everything. They see light about 18 times better than we do, especially at dusk, dawn, and at night when they are most active. And they only have two color receptors or cones compared to our three, those being yellow and blue, where we also have red. So they cannot see the red end of the spectrum, but see the blue end very well. And they don't see as well as humans as far as focus, meaning they don't see detail, but definitely see motion well over a broad field of view. This is where it gets very interesting and is our focus here. How acutely they can process visual information or images across time, which is called temporal resolution. In a University of Georgia Deer Lab study by Aaron Michelle Watson under Dr. Carl Miller, they tested the critical flicker fusion or flicker fusion rate of deer to help determine this. What is critical flicker fusion? It's a measure of ability to see a flashing light as distinct flashes, and the CFF is where this ability is lost and it appears as one continuous steady light. A human's CFF is 60 to 90 hertz under bright ideal light, but there's a reason that movies are set to 24 frames per second because basically at and above this rate we cannot determine individual frames. We lose acuity to analyze individual frames or visual events. According to the study, high flicker fusion frequency means the perception of a moving object is less likely to be blurred and determination of its nature, direction, and velocity is facilitated. Basically, this means it determines how well they see and can examine predators in their environment like us hunters. Okay, and before we look at the results, I have a quick question for you. Do you know your deer IQ? Do you think your deer smart? Take our deer IQ test and find out. It's a fun and challenging 10 question test. It's linked below. And while you're at it, share it with a buddy who you think you can beat or you might want to see. And doing that will also put you on our newsletter email. So each week, if you're a serious hunter, I think you'll really benefit from this. Each week you get the latest and best Deer IQ content, including our in-depth podcast with the best guests like Dr. Carl Miller, fresh topics and applications, and our high IQ educational blog. Definitely a win-win if you want to up your Deer IQ and success in the field. Okay? So now let's look at how deer see in slow motion. So the study found that the CFF of deer is around 100 hertz on average, or about four times that of a human, especially pronounced in low light conditions. This means that white-tailed deer can process images with about four times the acuity we can and effectively analyze these a frame at a time, if we're thinking of movies here, like watching something in 4x slow motion. This is what it might look like. Notice that in normal vision, it's hard to see the details of everything he does. Now in 4X slow motion, you can see a lot of detail. His release is kind of flopping. You see the hard anchor set there, and you can actually see the arrow leave the bow. So what does that mean for us hunters if deer basically can see in slow motion? I honestly think it just reinforces and sets perspective on things most hunters already know. First, it means we do not get away with motion very well at all, and we need to move very slowly when we move at all in a whitetail's presence. 
This could be stalking or on stand, and I would say to be safe, move four times slower than you think a human would notice. That's very slow. Second, it emphasizes the need to have stands and blinds very well hidden or brushed in, and wearing quality camo that breaks up our form and doesn't blob up, making extra sure you have adequate cover to help disguise your form and any movements you do to get in position or make a shot is critical. And third, as Carl mentioned in the podcast interview, link below, it means even shooting a bow in the flight of the arrow may potentially be seen by a deer, which could in turn react and potentially duck, duck your arrow or cause a bad hit. So basically this study and revelation that deer effectively see in slow motion emphasizes the need for hunters to pay special attention to an ultra stealthy ambush and being very aware of all our movements during every part of our hunts. What are your thoughts? Put them in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you think. And if you like this episode, make sure to like and hit subscribe and maybe share it with a friend you think might benefit. And if you want to up your game even more, check out our great free resources and services, including our free public land hunting guide with eight new approaches to beat the crowds and find success. Also, you can sign up for our future Whitetail Weekend Workshop, where we dive deep into exact tactics to consistently take the best deer where you hunt. All that and more is found below, and I'll see you on the next Deer IQ High IQ Topics video.